So now we're looking at similes. So similes in English would be using the word like. Like, for example, she grows like a flower. It's used kind of for like metaphors and stuff, but it's a simile. Metaphors don't use like. Anyway, hmm. um, I'm going to erase some of the sentence. Can you read the sentence for me? This one in the top. Majitsushi no yoni. Um, that is thief. Torobo wa mono. Oh. Um, I've seen that kanji before. So, so. Misu. Do you know what kesu means? Kesu means to disappear? Yeah. Or to, to disappear something. To erase something. Huh. To disappear something. Yep. So, theoretically, this is well, but I'm not going to focus on that. Basically, this is saying the, the main point of the sentence is thieves make things disappear, right? Then we have this Hi. no yo ni. Ni tells us this is modifying the verb. This is describing how hmm. the thief is disappearing things. It is disappearing things like a majitsushi, like a magician. So thieves make things disappear like a magician. So ni means this modifies a verb or it mod modifies an adjective. How would you say like it had been abandoned using yo ni? So this isn't a full sentence. Um, I'm just having you doing the first part of the sentence. <laughs> Like it had been abandoned. Right. Uh, abandoned or, is. Or forsaken. Like it had been forsaken. Misteru? Hi. Misteru hmm. is to forsake. So, misteru. To so forsake. how do you change to forsake so, into to be forsaken? That would be misu tekeshita. Like, is that what you said? That's the wrong question. I'm not um, sure where Keshta abandoned. came from. So, right. so, misteru is to forsake. So, I Hi. forsake B, right? X forsakes mm. B. But I want to say X is forsaken. So, that means it has to be in passive form. So we gotta conjugate misteru into passive form. What's passive form? Passive form here would be the misuteru. Misuteru? You're misuteru. right. We are gonna be adding deru to this. Passive form and causative form both use um something kind of like that. The difference, um, has something like two verbs right there, is that this is going to actually be a. So, that it. So, miste that it is passive form. And look at the sentence. It had been abandoned. It had been forsaken. What tense is that in? Is that future? Is that current, present tense, past tense, future tense? What tense is? It had been abandoned. Hi. So, it's it had been, so it's in past tense. So, so this should be ta. Misterareta. Had been abandoned, had been forsaken. How are we going to add the like to this? No yoni. Right after. Hi. Do you know what no marks? No. No is a kind um, of glue. Does it connect the two? It is used to connect things. Mm. Do you know what kind of things no is used to connect? Um, huh. Sorry. You can connect chains of verbs, I think. Sadly, no. Maybe no cannot be used to connect verb. And it cannot... So it can be used... It's not really used to connect adjectives. Adjectives, for example, mm. wabishi, e is used to connect adjectives 
two nouns. YBC, Mati, for example. Um, if you wanted to connect an adjective to a verb, YBC, would actually turn it to Wabishku. Wabishku means dead. This is wretchedly being abandoned. So you see, glue is very important in Japanese because it tells you what is being attached. So wabishi is an adjective, so it uses e. Or um, kireina is a na adjective. You know what kirei means? Mm. It yeah. means uh, pretty. Yes. Or hate. One of the so two. for kirei, uh, you think like kirai. Kirai is hate. Kirei is pretty. That is a na adjective. Mm. So na is used to connect things. No is used to connect nouns like majutsushi no machi, the city of the magician. So you're describing the city as belonging to a magician. Misterarita is a verb. So we actually can't use no. But you don't actually need to add anything because it is in dictionary form. I mean, not dictionary, it's in short form. So in Japanese, short form is glue. We've seen this before in something called a relative clause. I'll go back a little bit. Right over here. Here was our one of our examples of a relative clause. We have nusunda madoseki. We don't have nusunda no madoseki. We just have nusunda then madoseki. This right here is a very specific okay. rule for verbs. As long as a verb is in short form and there's not a period after it, that means this is an adjective, basically. This acts, this turns the verb into an adjective for the noun that follows it. If this was not describing a noun, this would end somewhere else, like with a te, a nusunde, or it would be nusumi, or it'd be nusumuto, like it would have some other ending here. So the short form is telling us that this is describing the noun or whatever that follows right after it. So now I'm going back to where we are. So for like it had been abandoned, all you have to do is do misterareta yoni, like it had been abandoned. How would you add the town was wretched to this sentence? Well, let's first make the town was wretched. How would you say that? The town was wretched. Town was wretched. Um, Wretched would be wabishi. Hi. Was wretched would be etto wabishi katta. Hi, you remember it is katta. In conjugation, Something is almost always going to go missing. You don't just add things to stuff. Something goes missing. What do you think is going to go missing from wabishi? What are we replacing? It would be the e. So we replace the e. So wabishikatta. So how are we adding machi to this? The town was wretched. It's not the wretched the town. The town was wretched. Hi. Hmm. The town was wretched. So it's either machiga or bishikata. No, it's not like that. It's, this is grammatically correct. Oh. Um, wa would be more mm. normal here. Machiwa wa bishikata. The town was wretched. Um, ga is grammatically correct, but that feels dramatic. It sounds like the wretched mm. town. Like it feels, um. So it might be gone on the next page, but wow is like the default one. So does this get added? Um, this wabishikata. Does this go over here at A, or would you put this over here at B? Um, it would go at A. That's a good guess. Um, but oh, not. <laughs> Probably B because of the knee particle. It would be B. 
Um, so let's see if I can figure out how to explain to you why it's B and not A. Um, so, so the sentence in English is the town was wretched like it had been abandoned. Some things in here mm. are just extra. It's just pretty things being put there to sound pretty, which is like it had been abandoned. I could throw that in the garbage and the sentence still makes sense. The town was wretched. That is our sentence. That is the meat of our sentence. So that means in Japanese, we want to have the meat of our sentence as well. We want to have the sentence that we wanted to say. And then we want to add a descriptor to the sentence because people don't just say exactly what they say. We want to add descriptors, be dramatic, add pictures and illustration to things. So that would be the like it had been abandoned part. Like it had been abandoned. In Japanese, adjectives, basically, descriptors, go behind things. They go behind the things that they describe. So in English, that's not how it works in English. We have it after the thing we're describing. That's not how it works in Japanese. Japanese descriptors go before. So this means misuterareru ni has to go before the thing it is describing. What is misuterareru describing? Is it describing the town or is it describing wretched? It is describing the town. That's a good guess, but it's actually describing wretched. Do you want to know how we know this? Oh. It has to do with this oh. particle, ni. Ni marks adverbs. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> adverbs is a big word oh. that is a grammatical word that means I describe verbs and adjectives. So that means town is a noun. So that means since a ni is here, it cannot be describing town. If I wanted to describe town, I actually would use something else, which is not. So I would say uh, that is a town that's like aban been abandoned. A town that's like been abandoned. So this na allows us to be describing machi. So this ni means it's describing wretched. So that means that this can go, um, this yoni. needs to occur um, before, in the sentence, before wabishikatta. So we could say, machi wa misutereta no yoni. Wabishikatta. Ah. I wish I was a faster typer. What does machi wa misterareta no yo ni wabishikatta mean? <coughs> so, machi wa misterareta. Misterareta. So, the town was forsaken. Hai. No yo ni. So, no yo ni like. Uh, wabishikatta. So the town was wretched. The town was wretched is our main sentence here. The town was wretched. That's correct. And then we're describing the wretchedness. What kind of wretchedness are we talking about? So to forsake the wretchedness. Do you know what yoni means? Yoni. Yoni is like. It's like, yeah. So you need to want to throw that like in. So the town was wretched like it had been abandoned. Mm -hmm. So the notion being here, I just was having issues with typing. 
to be what's what you said oh, okay. that yoni just ignore that no it just typing's bad um that is the exact same sentence the one before as the town was wretched like it had been abandoned these two sentences are exactly the same in english there is no difference in meaning but like is yoni and ni modifies adjectives and verbs what could we turn ni into if you wanted it to be used to describe a noun do you know uh it would become it was a noun mm -hmm. my hint is that yo is that. an adjective Uh, no. So no is the glue between nouns. So that would be, for example, mm -hmm. this this comes after a noun. Yo, I just told you, was an adjective. This adjective is not ending with yeah. e. Do you know what the second kind of adjective that exists in Japanese? Non-adjectives. So, non-adjectives. So the glue for non-adjectives is na. So that means na means an adjective, as in yo, is describing a noun. And ni means a na adjective or a noun is being used to describe a verb. And you'll see this more often as we learn more vocabulary. Um. Okay. Do you know what hibiku means? Hibiku. Um, what's that kanji I've seen before? I see that part of that kanji right over here with oto. Mm, so sound think. Mm, oto, mono oto is the sound of things. Mono oto, that is the meaning of that. Hibiku, ending with mm. ku, is a verb. So the sound of things is a noun. Hi. What do you think hibiku means? Hibiku. Good. Hibiku is to echo. Echo. Ah, oh, hi. What does mono oto ga hibiku mean? So, sound echoes. Hi, the sound echoes. Perfect. So, right above here, we have yake, which is something you don't know yet. Yake is like a lot in an awfully kind of way. And it has a knee mm. right here. I was talking to you earlier about what knee kind of means. Do you know what knee kind of means? What does like knee modify? Uh, it points. It modifies the verb. So, so. So this means this awfully, this awful, yake, is describing hibiku. So, it, so in English, that's adding li. We, we make our adverbs have li. In Japanese, that's knee. They get their yake and they're adding ni to it to make it into an adverb. So what does mono oto ga yake ni hibiku? Mono oto. Mono oto ga yaki. So yake. sound of things, which is sound. Yake. Awful lot of hibiki. Right. So sound makes way too many echoes. Yes, yeah, it echoes a lot. Like, it's made too many echoes. Okay, now I'm going to mm. color here some more. Now we have a sound effect. Garantoshita. Garantoshita. That is the sound of something being empty. Garantos. What do you think garantoshita machi means? Uh, uh, the town being empty. Hi, it is an empty town. So what does garantoshita machi wa? Mono oko ga yake ni hibiki, which is hibiku. Hmm. So, hibiku. 
Mono Otter. So the sound, there's a lot of echoes mm. inside or right. on the empty Matsi, yes. empty town. Perfect. So this hibiki we see right here is an and. We saw an and earlier. This, this is the adding the e sound to things. So this is ku. It's e become hibiki. So it's an. So the empty city echoes the things in the empty city echoes awfully, and the city because that's what we're talking about is wabishikata. What does wabishikata mean? Wabishikata. Right. is to be wretched. Right. Well, was wretched. There's no to be in there. Just kata. Was wretched. Hi. Right. Mm. So the empty town, the, the sorry, the, the sounds of the empty town echoed awfully and was wretched. Then we have in here, misterareta yo ni, with another ni here. What is ni telling us this modifies? Ni in this case would modify the verb. Hi, or in this which case, is an adjective. To deceive. Deceive? Wabishikata. Ah, hi, wabishikata. Hi, hi. Wretched. Wretched. Hi. Yep. So, how wretched was the city? Ah, misterareru. So it was forsaken, mm -hmm. kind of wretched. Yeah. So if you're forsaken, you're going to be really sad about that, right? Right? You're going to be like, oh, nobody mm. likes me. So that, that's how sad the city was. The city was wretched as if it had been abandoned. Like it had been abandoned. Kanji check. Oh. Um, do you know what this guy right here is? How about <laughs> uh okay that is probably dorobo mm, good guess good guess it is not dorobo dorobo if you look at the kanji here look at it too this guy right here this right here is like mm. earth for example you might know doyobi which sorry short do, do, do yobi, hey. which is saturday Saturday is the day of the earth. Yes. And this has earth in it. So thieves are dirty. Thieves are covered in mud. They got water just thrown right on them. Dirty water. But this mm. instead is talking about the earth. What do you think we mean here? And we also have like foot right there. Ashy. Ashy. Oh. Like legs. So we got legs and we have dirt. What meaning do you think this might have? This, this chi, so chi, roji. Hi, roji, which is alleyway, a dirt path, right? Roji. Most alleyways don't have the cars going down. Mm. Roji, alleyway. Um, so what's this word up on the top then? That is dorobo. Hi, dorobo. Which is thief. But covered in mud. And here's one that you struggle with. What's this guy? Mm -mm. Put it. Means dim. That is like ah, could I? Hi, could I? Perfect. Could I? Nice. Nice. We finished this section. So I want to go copy this. Okay, new slideshow. Do you recognize this kanji? This is a new kanji. I mean, we've seen it before. It has rain in it. Because this is kiri. Mm -hmm. You know what kitty is? Kitty. Mist. Soul mist. Perfect. Um, so this is uh Naga. Naga did it. 
Oh, right. Nah. Nah. What does Kiriga Nagarekomu mean? Kiriga Nagare. So the mist flows. Hi! Flows into something. Perfect. Do you know what E means? E? Hi. Uh, like E desna or is it? Yes, emphasis E desna, no E. e. Mm, I don't know what you mean by emphasis, kind of E. I'm just saying context. Pretty sure there's just one E with a long E. Sometimes it's pronounced as yoi. Yoi. So is it good? Yes, it kind is good. E. It is the good kind of E. That th there's only one E. What's the <clears throat> other E? E is still that is good. <laughs> <laughs> what other E is there? Oh, sure it's just right. good. <laughs> I think it might use it in a different context and we use the word good. Like I'd say I'm good, like I don't want something. You wouldn't use E in that context. We'd use kiko instead. But that, mm. that's more just like semantics than actual the meaning of the word. It, 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 e is always good. Sometimes it's skillful, I guess. Like ude no yi means have good arm. That means skillful. But it's it still comes from the good, mm. right? Um. Anyway, so e whenever it's conjugated turns into yo, yoi. So knowing that, do you know what the ta form is for this e adjective? What does that turn into? It's going to start with yo. This guy's a little bit irregular. But what is it going to end with? Yoi. So yoi is it? That sounds weird. What did you say? Yotta. Yotta? It's not yotta, is it? That it's... sounds strange. So... Yotta, yotta. Yotta is a different verb. Yotta comes from yaru, which is to do. So yotta means I did it. Um, yotta. This right here comes from yoi. Yoi. I'll, I'll show you wabishi real quick. Wabishi. Right here. We got that e. What did we do to the e to put it in the past tense form? Do you remember? Uh, wabishi becomes wabishikatta. Hi, wabishikatta. So, yoi also ends with e. Is there something we could replace e with? To make it into past sense form? Yokatta? Yeah, katta. Yokatta! Oh, mm. yokatta! Yokatta! That's something that shows up a lot in anime. Oh, yokatta! Raizobu! Mm -hmm. <laughs> yokatta! That's literally, it was good. Doof. Goodness occurred. And right now is where our lesson is ending. Um, Any questions before we go? Hi, hi. No, that's good. Okay. Awesome. Then I will not be seeing you next week, but I will see you the week afterwards. Uh, It'll be this, probably the same -ish. Hi, hi time for me because my time my daylight savings done so hopefully this time continues to work for you till you hit yeah. daylight savings <laughs> if you have That's that way to live so yeah mm -hmm. bye see you in two weeks yep